Hey guys, welcome back um, to my this video part where we um, we are actually coding patterns in our EA. And in this video part, we will um, will make uh, a pattern consisting of two candles. So let's take a random pattern from here and then let's code it. So okay let's say uh, we want to code this pattern right here these two candles this one bearish candle and this one uh, is the bullish candle let's say we want our ea to look for this pattern and whenever it finds out um, this pattern it should alert us it should draw an arrow right here uh, it should basically give us a buy signal okay whenever it finds this pattern in here okay so now let's go ahead and code it for that we need some information about these two candles the first um, the information um, which we can see here on our chart basically what we want uh, what uh, we need what information we need that is we need to under uh, we need the upper percentages of these candles the lower percentages of these candles and the body percentages of these candles and that information is already displayed on on this chart so we'll take this information and we'll go ahead and code it okay <coughs> as uh, in this video part we are uh, considering two candlesticks so this one will be our C1 and this one will be our C2. So C1, uh, this candle's information is written here and this candle's uh, information written here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and code it. Our C1 should be true. That means uh, our C1 should be a bullish candle. And... Um, we are coding this pattern right so c1 is bullish so we'll tell our code that c1 should be bullish and c2 should be false that means c2 should be bearish okay so <clears throat> okay c1 is bullish c2 is bearish that's fine okay now let's go ahead and tell our ea to um, check pattern for our first candle and then check pattern for our second candle the first argument we will pass uh, in here that will be our um, upper percentage for our bullish candle so that is 21 we'll just go ahead and write uh, something like 18 um, we're writing 18 because uh, we want some we want this year to include all those candles that are having 18 percent 19 percent 20 21 percent upper percentages okay so we don't um, we don't look for exactly 21 percent but we are giving it like some leverage like um, it should be around 18 to 21 percent okay so the next the next thing is um, the body percentage we have 75 percent here we will go ahead and write like something like uh, 70 and the third is lower percentage that is 3.12 we'll just write 2 in here and 1 because it is the first candle and we'll pass c1 okay and now let's go ahead and call the same function and for this function will be for our bearish candle so um we have to find uh, we have to like uh, take these values and code it inside here okay the upper percentage is 13 percent we'll go ahead and write something like uh, 10 body percentage is 78 we'll write something like 75 and lower percentage is 7.4 we'll write something like 5 we'll pass 
two in here because we are, this is our second candle and we'll pass C2 in here okay <coughs> this uh, why we have a uh, why we are passing two because we are um, we are considering this candle this is our first candle this is our second candle that's why we are passing two in here and uh, this C2 why we are passing it because uh, we are considering the second candle right so uh, C2 is false bearish and the same variable we pass here and here what we want to do we want to draw and we want to draw an up arrow here so up and one okay semicolon expected mm. okay <clears throat> now that we have coded uh, this um, this pattern now let's go ahead and start it and let's see if uh, if it draws uh, draws an arrow there or not okay so it draws so basically what we did uh, here <coughs> we have coded this pattern um, this pattern in our EA okay now you can like uh, you can add more patterns in it like you can add this pattern this pattern this pattern and there are lots of patterns in here you can code them uh, in, 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 in this expert advisor okay in the next video part I will be discussing how you can implement a pattern which is consisting three candles okay uh, we have done first one candle pattern two candle pat two candles pattern and now in the next video part we will learn how to code a pattern which is consisting three candles so see you in the next part have fun take care